Hello everyone, this is your girl, Sugary Girl Candy 2012. Oh, my damn phone. <laughs> right when I start recording though. This is your girl, Sugary Girl Candy 2012, and I'm here to bring you guys a new video. And first I want to say it has felt like forever since I've made one of these freaking videos. And that's merely because I've been moving all over the place and... Well, not moving all over the place is because I've been getting set up at my sister's temporarily until, you know, I moved into my new place. <laughs> you probably, guys were probably like, you move a lot. But where I actually stayed wasn't like a permanent stay because it wasn't convenient, you know, really for anything or working. And the traffic was horrendous and had no family out there and nobody like, well, had family out there, just not like close family. You know, people that I actually am around. Uh, a few days a week so it was like pretty odd it was like okay for the first few months because it was quiet peace and quiet but then too much quiet ugh, excuse me too much peace and quiet and you can go a little insane okay so you read the title you guys know what this is about um so um it's been really crazy you know between konami and kojima um if you guys don't know if you haven't watched the game awards um you would know that during the um game awards um when um metal gear solid 5 actually won an award you know um it wasn't kojima or anybody uh from the studio uh, developers who actually came and accepted the award it was actually uh Kiefer sutherland you know the, the voice of snake himself so it was like pretty odd and we were like uh like even the actor kind of gave off a little shade <laughs> towards konami and um then uh uh G geoff knightley i hope i said his name right um actually said some words and you can tell that he was like throwing some straight up shade towards konami for you know them getting their lawyers involved to the point where they actually banned kojima from the um the game awards was which was really shitty like they weren't already doing him dirty that they had to go and ban him from the fucking awards and um and like it's been really hectic so um i believe it was yesterday if i'm correct or it might have been a few days ago um kojima just recently came out and well it, it well let me see could have been yesterday or could have been today and i was just reading really late reading the article really late and seeing it on uh youtube and twitter but um it was recently announced that his uh contract with konami has expired so he's <laughs> gone off and do better things and he created his own company and what makes it crazy and like a really big you know middle finger to Ko uh, konami is the fact that he named it kojima productions and that's what he's been using since 84 <laughs> which is funny so um what else um and but it's really sad though because uh konami still have you know the the uh metal gear solid franchise under their belt and you know he can't get that back so he's starting a whole new ip but here's the kicker so now his productions is under sony so sony went and snatched them up and now he'll be making a playstation 4 exclusive which is really exciting and it definitely pissed a lot of people off like no doubt about that everybody were you know at their usual sony ain't the right console sony ain't got money um i don't understand how people can sit there and continuously call sony broke and like they don't have any money but they've been buying all buying all these studios and games and acquiring all of this and that and i don't think a broke if i'm broke is a joke or if i'm going bankrupt i would not be investing in so many freaking projects or anything period because you want to save what the hell you got kind of like capcom but move cat move it move go over there so yep It's a freaking cat. It's been really crazy, and um, I just want Percy to congratulate him and um, just say that people. I'm just excited to see what his next project is and what you know he'll be coming out with. And I'm hoping you know, because Sony have gave him a lot more creative freedom than Konami did. Konami. You know barely if at all gave him any creative freedom 
you know, especially from everything we've seen thus far. So, um, it's a big fuck you to Konami, and I hope Konami just burn, go down, and, you know, karma's a bitch, you know, for how they treated him and his team. Karma's a bitch, and it definitely will, they will be feeling it. They think they won't. They think they're untouchable, and they just acting like nothing happened. They legit try to uh, call him, you know, not do anything or whatever as him being on vacation, which was crazy. He wasn't on vacation at all. He was just busy creating his new production, getting ready for his new company and preparing. So, Konami don't know what they just lost. They lost basically the one thing that was keeping them alive and they don't have that mind anymore so what are they gonna do it's like Capcom and you see how Capcom is steadily trying to redeem themselves and basically pull themselves together but um I wish Kojima well um I'm excited for hold on, my earring. oh god my earring came out excuse the barking dog kids um I'm sorry I'm excited for what he's gonna bring and I should have closed this freaking window but it's so freaking hot <laughs> oh my eerie but um yeah I mean that's basically what do you guys personally think it is um situation it's been real crazy to me and I'm glad that Kojima finally got away out of their grips and I see what that mission in Metal Gear Solid 5 meant I didn't personally play the game because I didn't really want to invest in a product if it wasn't like, you know, him having his full vision in it like Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4 and stuff like that, which is what didn't feel right to purchase it because of the fact that a lot of people were, you know, it was just getting mixed, um, mixed reactions and that's like kind of unnormal for people who are fans of the franchise. So, hmm. I don't know how to personally feel about it. Feel I didn't know how I personally felt about it then, so I never got the game and I was like, I'm just gonna watch. I'm just not gonna get it. And um that's basically it. Oh my god, really? Freaking phone is going off. But um that's it. I'm gonna leave the question of the day at the end of the video and you guys can personally tell me if you've been following this situation, which I don't know who possibly couldn't have been following this. Okay, really? Let me put my phone away off my desk. Um, how it made you personally feel if you're um, a fan, fan of the Metal Gear Solid franchise or if you've been following the stories and you've been following Twitter and stuff like that. What the fuck? Ugh. They blowing my Twitter up. <gasps> okay, I get it. But, um... Yeah, that's it. I don't want to prolong this video any longer than it needs to be. You guys just let me know what you think about um, how Konami have been treating Kojima. And are you personally glad that he finally got the hell up out that hell hole? Because I know I am. And I am personally excited for what the hell he's going to bring to the table. Because he um, came out and said he's making a whole new franchise. It's a PlayStation 4 exclusive. And it's very awesome that Sony... <sighs> I really should have closed this window. It's very exciting that um, Sony snagged them up and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll speak to you guys later. Thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing and sticking around for as long as you have. And I will speak to you guys later. Deuces and I'll 